China Harbor Engineering Company has met its deadline to complete a new boarding corridor at the Chadi Jagan International Airport at Timiri. Minister of Public Works Juan Agil visited the airport on Thursday to view the completion and commended the company for meeting the June 30th deadline. The new boarding corridor will now boost the airport's capacity with two additional passenger boarding bridges and according to Minister Edgel, this will further boost the country's economy by allowing larger aircrafts to land and transport passengers here. Because you could have wide-body aircraft and in the economy of scales, you could start bringing in bigger um, craft. It would also benefit in terms of the movement of products out of Guyana the cost of air freight could go down because with wider body uh, aircraft you can carry more produce and again in the economy of scale you can control price. So rather than what we know as the regular planes that come together like we do with JetBlue or American Airlines currently, we could have the wide body, bigger aircraft carrying 300 plus passengers. The airport expansion project being carried out by China Harbor Engineering Company is years behind its completion date. The multi-million dollar contract for the project was signed in 2012 and construction commenced in January 2013. The company came under fire by the government in 2020 after an assessment found several inefficiencies in the works being carried out. In December 2020, the government brokered an agreement with China Harbor Engineering Company for them to undertake $1.8 in works at the airport at no additional cost to taxpayers. The agreement included the expanded boarding corridor, an extension of the terminal building to be converted into a commercial space for food courts and duty-free shops, and a modern facade covering the full length of the airport. We are putting in a tint in the glass with the colors of the flag of Guyana, with the One Guyana uh, logo. And that will be wrapped all the way from the top, coming all the way around with the, with, with the flag of Guyana. This is expected to be completed by September 2022, while the commercial center will be completed by February 2023. Project manager at the Ministry of Public Works, Carissa Goodins, further explained that the majority of the works were completed on the new corridor and now only finishing touches are being done. What we have so far is all of the mechanical, electrical and plumbing works that are in. We're still finalizing today some of the testing and commissioning of the work, but all of the aspects in terms of the pre-testing was done and those have passed. So it's just now where we actually tightened up on those. But as it is, we have reached practical completion for the additional works under the existing contract. Chinese Ambassador Tagana also applauded China Harbor Engineering Company for completing the expansion works in a timely manner and without disrupting the service at the airport. The other thing is that uh, although there is a pandemic during the past two years, uh, the company, both sides, have overcome many difficulties to continue the construction and speed up the uh, construction. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Isanella Patwo.